All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, today, working on getting the uh, plows ready for the fall time. Uh, started off small because the tail depth wheel back here is only held on by three bolts. And it looks like some have been lost or broken at some point because you got ones like that. One's fairly new and the other one's pretty rusted. But so I went ahead and got four brand new ones today. Gonna grease up the bearing. That spins pretty good and freely. Just gonna go ahead and lube that up. And then I got back in here. Oops. And here is the spring trip mechanisms for the bottoms that I printed, or sprayed uh, WD-40 in to kind of work everything up and I get them adjusted. And then from there, I got to find out, because on the points on this back one and the middle one, I'm missing the front bolts. Actually, that's looks like they're missing on. Well, no, maybe not. I think maybe the points were replaced at one time because there there's no hole in the back side for them. Uh, once I get them up off the ground, I'll look better. But anyway, and from there, I got the Coulters that came off the red Ford 101s. They're going to go on here. This already has the clamps from when I had them on before. On all of them. And then get it ready for fall plowing. And the plan is once, uh, once I'm done using them, ideally next year, probably, yeah, in the warmer months, going to be a little bit late this year to try it. I want to strip them down and clean them up and repaint them. So, pretty much just getting them ready. I have them hooked to the Oliver because that's the tractor I'm going to use them on. It's going to be a lot easier to use them on this compared to the loader tractor. So, but that's pretty much it. Uh, for those who are newer to the channel, I just got these, I believe it was last year. We do have a red set of Ford 101 three bottom plows that actually belong to my mom and stepdad. And I got these ones, which are the blue, which you can tell there's some blue paint left on it. Uh, after getting them for sitting so long, tried them out in the ground and they worked really well, so... That's what uh, my project I'm working on today. And then I did a video on my work truck, which is actually getting worked on right now. And this is my first brand new truck right here. This is 2022 Ram 3500 Heavy Duty with the 64 Hemi. And after I bought it, I had the grill guard put on side steps and I also had a back rack put on and I kept the toolbox out of the other truck and I even bought a fuel transfer tank oh, and at the same time I had them rhino line the bed um, I know I already got crap in it right now but while the other trucks getting fixed which should be done this weekend uh, obviously I gotta do much hauling with this but this truck is actually set up with a gooseneck hitch already make sure kind of can't see it but there's stuff in there um, the story I got well how I ended up with this is that I bought you know remember my gray Dodge which I only had about a year and uh After I quit my last job, I uh, I took out my retirement from there because 401ks weren't and really still aren't doing the best. So I used it to take care of some stuff. Kind of how I got ended up with that. 
Um, so I, I better have made the suggestion because I always wanted a bigger truck. And originally, it is a little bit dirty. Not gonna, not gonna lie, because we've already been on a trip on it and just haven't gotten to get everything out yet. But it only put 33. 3,346 miles on it so far. But anyway, so back to the story at hand. Uh, so I better have suggested, you know, go ahead and look into uh, a truck that I really wanted because she knew I did. So I started looking around and one dealership had a three quarter ton version of this with the six foot bed, had the six four Hemi. And nice looking trucks. They had them in this this color, which is the burgundy. And then they also had gray and black, if I remember correctly. And I sent them the information on my 2017 that I had. And they came back with they'd give me twenty thousand trade-in on it. Well at the same time where I bought my blue dodge that I had at the beginning when I started youtube uh i got it from this one dealership and i i dealt with them really well so i sent the guy that dealt with me before a message kind of curious what he had there well he had this truck on the lot and so all right we set it up went and looked at it and the story i got was is that someone actually ordered this truck in Hence the gooseneck. But he ended up losing his job. Well, so I guess it wasn't much after that when I acquired about it. And went down, took it for a test drive, and I liked it, so we started doing the paperwork. And I got there just in the nick of time because someone actually showed up. And I'm pretty certain they were going there with the intents to buy it, but the paperwork had already been started for me. So I ended up with my very first brand new truck. One thing I like about this too, manual full drive lever. Got the extra outlets. It isn't uh, fancy by, I guess, some people's standards in that it does not have chrome which I didn't particularly care for. I just wanted a more heavy duty truck. It has the cab marker lights like I wanted, which is them. And it also has the backup camera. I always wanted a heavier duty truck. And every time I thought about like a one ton, an F350 or a 3500, I always figured they were diesels that were dualies which I could never justify owning a diesel, let alone wanting a truck with hips, as I always keep saying. But lo and behold, I ended up with a one-ton single rear wheel. And the dip, one of the other differences between this and the three-quarter tons I was looking at is that this is crew cab, eight-foot bed. And uh, we did take this down to the beach and a lot of people give rat on like these bigger trucks on fuel consumption but if anybody's familiar at all with pennsylvania and the east coast and if not yeah i'm sure you can google it and kind of see like the distance i went from the allentown service plaza on the pennsylvania turnpike to horntown virginia and only used a quarter tank of gas and I figure this has got to be about a 30 35 gallon tank I do not drive it crazy by any stretch of the imagination so a lot of uh, few people's fuel consumption issues are how you drive them if you get on the gas real heavy and all that kind of stuff so but this is the new truck I am extremely happy with it and enjoy it greatly so it's everything I wanted and then some so 
But anyway, I'm gonna get back to working on this. I wish I could show more of like when I'm doing this kind of stuff, but hopefully I'll have to look into like a GoPro or something that'll be easier to put on places instead of my phone, so. But there's a video for today and hopefully before too long, since we have been getting rain grass will be growing up, I can actually put this through a true test on the brush hog over at the property, so. And then with fall, my buddy gets his uh, silage and everything chopped, and I'd like to get these plows on the ground this fall. So, all right, guys, that'll do it for today, and I'll catch you all in the next one.